Hello, Namaskar and welcome. One more case in chi-square test. And this time we are with a two-tailed test. The case is, test the hypothesis for the following data. Assume the population is normal. Null hypothesis, HO is given to be small sigma square. That is population variance is 8.5. And alternative hypothesis is given to be population variance is not 8.5. Mark the words population variance is not 8.5. That means it can be more than 8.5 or less than 8.5. Be alert. Alpha 0.1 that means level of significance is 10%. And sample size is 22 and sample variance is 70. Okay. First of all, what is the effect of alternative hypothesis given to be with the sign of not equal to? Since alternative hypothesis is population variance is not 8.5, we should conclude that this is the case of two-tailed test. If the case is of two-tailed test, we have to split the alpha. Alpha by 2 will be 0.1 divided by 2.05. Now the new thing is, in case of two-tailed chi-square test, we have to determine two critical values of chi-square. One is lower level critical value of chi-square and another is upper level critical value of chi-square. And the condition for acceptance or rejection of the test statistic will be if the calculated chi-square is less than the lower level or greater than the upper level, then the hypothesis, rather null hypothesis will be rejected. And if the calculated value of chi-square falls between these two levels, then only the null hypothesis will be accepted. Okay, yes, so we have here the values of alpha by 2 as well as 1 minus alpha by 2. What is the use of 1 minus alpha by 2 value to determine the lower level of critical value of chi-square? We need this. And degrees of freedom is 21. Okay. Now let's first of all uh, learn the new thing. Yes. And that is. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I need table of chi-square. And. Yes. I have. First of all, critical value of chi-square for the lower tail. Mark the words. That is chi-square 1 minus alpha by 2 and degrees of freedom that is chi square 0 0.9521 degrees of freedom. Okay, so take the chi square table. The first column is degrees of freedom 21 and now go to the column of 0 0.95 and that is 11.59132. 11.59132 Similarly now critical value of chi-square for the upper tail and that is in sign alpha by 2 and degrees of freedom that is 0 0.0521 degrees of freedom. So now again in first column degrees of freedom 21 but now in the column of 0 0.05 and that comes to 32.6706 32.6706 it is something like this.
दिस इज एक्सेप्टेंस रीजन एंड दीज टू आर रिजेक्शन रीजन the rule of rejection if only if the calculated value of chi square falls between these two say lower tail and upper tail values critical values then only the ho null hypothesis will be accepted that means if the calculated value of chi square is less than the lower tail value of chi square that is 11.59 then the ho will be rejected and also if the calculated value of chi square is greater than the upper tail value then also the null hypothesis will be rejected yes this is the rule for rejection this is a unique thing in case of two tailed chi square test in many 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 institutions two tail chi square test is not at all taught by the teachers in many 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 reference books also nothing is said about the two tail chi square test so please be careful at the time of watching this lecture and studying and learning all this yes everywhere you cannot easily find out the discussion on the two tail chi square test yes again this is lower tail critical value of chi square if the calculated value of less than this then null hypothesis will be rejected this is upper tail critical value of chi square if the calculated value of greater than this then also the null hypothesis will be rejected and that means only if the calculated value of chi square falls between these two critical values lower level critical value as well as upper level critical value then we can say that the calculated chi square value falls in the acceptance region and we accept the null hypothesis let's check in this case okay let's calculate the chi square value sorry ho given to be population variance is 8.5 alternative hypothesis is given to be population variance is not 8.5 yes chi square is n minus 1 into s square upon rather sample, uh, sample variance all divided by population variance n minus 1 is degrees of freedom 21 multiplied by sample variance 70 and divided by population variance 8.5 so it is something like this chi square comes to 42 now first of all is 42 between 11.59 and 32.67 no that means calculated value of chi square doesn't fall in the acceptance region that means the ho is rejected but more precisely chi square calculated chi square 42 is even greater than the upper tail critical value of the chi square 32.67 that means it falls in this rejection region yes so okay conclusion will be yes this is the conclusion since the calculated value of chi square is greater than the critical value of chi square for lower tail also the null hypothesis is rejected 
and since the null hypothesis is rejected the alternative hypothesis becomes our conclusion and that is the population variance is not 8.5 so i hope you will be able to understand the concept of two tailed chi square test at the cost of repetition i would like to say that everywhere you cannot find out the discussion on two tailed chi square test easily so learn or try to learn everything on two tail chi square test from this lecture in this series we will also discuss another case or cases on two tail chi square test and there will be descriptive cases that's it for now thank you very much